Hi everyone, uh, it's Jonathan here again. I wanted to do a short review on the Taylor 814CE, a guitar that I purchased recently and have not stopped playing since I bought it. And so if you're looking uh, to buy a guitar, you're interested in Taylor guitars and want to know more about this model, I'm happy to share my impressions and some details about the guitar, the, the uh, shape, the woods, and of course I'll do some sound checks for you as well so you can hear how it sounds acoustically and uh, amped up as well. Let's begin by looking at the the body of the guitar, the shape and the design. I'm used to playing on dreadnoughts, I, I really enjoy dreadnoughts and this was a new experience for me. Uh, th the design of this guitar, it's a uh, grand auditorium. If you haven't played on this type of a design before, you'll notice a couple of differences between this and a dreadnought. First of all, the body is smaller and it's uh, slightly thinner as well. And that means that it's very comfortable to play. The guitar sits very nicely uh, in the lap when you're just playing it uh, like this, or if you're, you're performing and you have it uh, strapped on, uh, it's a very, very comfortable size and a shape to play on. This model is a CE, so it's a cutaway. There is a soft cutaway here. It gives you a lot of access uh, higher up on the fretboard, very comfortable to play. And E, obviously, for the electronics, and we'll discuss the expression system in a bit. Uh, but the guitar can obviously be uh, plugged into an amp and, uh, and uh, played through speakers as well. The woods that are used on the guitar, uh, Sitka spruce for the top. You can see there's a beautiful glossy finish on the wood. The back and the sides of the guitar are a wonderful rosewood. You can see again that glossy finish really comes through beautifully. The neck of the guitar is an incredible mahogany and there is a uh, satin finish on this neck which makes it very very smooth and very very comfortable to play. Uh, gold tuners on the, uh, on the top, gold plated tuners and the uh, Taylor logo obviously there. The finishing on the guitar on, on the 8 series is just beautiful and the attention to detail is is magnificent. You have maple binding that runs the entire length of the of the guitar. It actually continues up the neck and it continues around the headstock and that provides a wonderful contrast to the colors of the wood and uh, it just looks looks beautiful. Um, you have inlays which I think are quite tasteful actually if you see the 9 series uh, again, beautiful work. I just think this is slightly um, simpler and um, and uh, looks a little bit, uh, to my taste, I think it looks just a little bit better. And you have the rosette around the uh, around the sound hole, uh, and the fretboard is ebony, and we have ebony over here at the saddle as well. So in terms of the construction, the guitar is very light, incredibly well made and in, in the sound test and when I play it for you one of the things that I noticed straight away is the, the the way the guitar resonates the way the sounds just continue you just play a note and just let the guitar ring out the uh, way the bracing is designed and the way the guitar is designed really contributes towards an incredible acoustic tone I'll talk a little bit about the electronics now on the guitar this is a CE so again C for the cutaway E for the fact that it is amplified. The, the pickup system used on the Taylor guitars is known as an expression system custom designed uh, by Taylor in conjunction with uh, some, some very clever people. And the idea behind the expression system is, uh, again on the 814 model, is to use three different pickups. Uh, this is a 2010 model. There may have been some slight changes for the 2011 uh, in terms of the positioning of the pickups, but the idea is still the same. There is a pickup over here at the neck, and then you have two pickups which are positioned uh, under the actual top of the guitar. Those three pickups are combined and uh, fed to a, a preamp, and that is what produces the incredible amplified sound of the Taylor. In terms of the preamp, I'll show it to you over there. Under the neck, you can actually access this directly. It is the preamp, and a couple of important things about the preamp. This took me a while to figure out. I had to go and find some research, and hopefully, it'll save you some time. Uh, the preamp is powered by a 9 volt battery, which is 
very conveniently placed at the end of the guitar. You simply pop that uh, container out and you can switch out the battery. Inside that preamp is a small red LED. Uh, now when the light is on, when it's red, that means that your battery has sufficient power and you can, you can plug in and play. If the light goes out or is starting to flicker or fade, it means you need to change the battery. And uh, so that's just a quick tip for you that uh, should save you some time if you're not sure whether you have enough power. Something else that's interesting is if you choose to play only through the, the uh, neck pickup, on that preamp are two switches and you can actually disable the body pickups and create a different range of sounds uh, and you can you can play around with that and try that out so it is quite configurable and again controlled by three very simple buttons on the top for volume bass and treble and by playing around with the treble and the bass settings you can create different sounds you can effectively scoop the mid ranges as well uh, and again that's just through 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 playing around in your personal preference of the kind of sound that you like the first thing I noticed about playing this guitar is when you pick this guitar up it is incredibly comfortable to play the factory setup uh, the way the guitar is set up the action is very very low very comfortable straight out of the factory the neck uh, is very comfortable very uh, relatively thin compared to some of my other guitars uh, and that means that you can really just play this this guitar for hours and not feel any fatigue I know when I perform after two hours of playing, sometimes you know in the left hand, uh, you're starting to feel some of the fatigue uh, from playing. This guitar played for hours, and it is so comfortable, and and just wants to be to be played uh, uh, more and more. The strings that I use on here, the guitar is uh, set up with uh, Elixir strings, uh, which interestingly enough I don't like on a dreadnought. I find them too bright and sometimes too tinny, and I've really played with EXPs. Um, but this guitar has an incredibly beautiful set of highs and mid-ranges and I uh, tend to think that the Alexia strings are actually and Taylor knows what they're doing obviously so um, those strings suit the, the, the frequencies and the sounds that this guitar produces I've currently actually got clear tones on and that's what I'll use to record some of the sound samples but I did find by putting on regular phosphor bronze uh, it dulled the guitar a little bit and lost some of the crispness and the clearness of the guitar and so I've, I've ordered some Elixir uh, and I'm going to try those out with clear tone strings as well as well as the XP 16s and a whole range of other strings to find uh, what I think is, is the kind of sound that I like but as opposed to that very big boominess of, of a Dreadnought uh, what I like about this guitar is that mid-range and that uh, almost piano-like clarity that you get from the guitar and so I'm going to put on Elixirs again and, and see how those how those sound. In terms of the sound test, what I'm going to do is uh, just switch over now to a different microphone. I'm recording this through the webcam but I wanted to record through a, a better mic and I'm going to do a couple of uh, sound tests just acoustically for you to hear what the guitar sounds like. 